Hello and welcome to this week's Tech and Science video. I'm LG Hammer and this week we're going to be painting a pair of AirPods Pro and I'm going to be painting them Tesla blue. So here's the AirPods. I'm going to be painting the case and the pods themselves. Um, a pair of scissors. I'm going to be using some line here. I've built this kind of little paint shop studio and this masking tape is going to help us cover up the protective sensitive areas that we do not want to get paint on. So for paint, I got this can of um, paint mixed up. I wanted to paint in blue and I really wanted to go with Tesla blue. So I was very lucky that uh, a company, a shop near me allows for custom paint mixes. It would be a lot cheaper and a lot simpler, a lot more common to just go and get like a paint spray paint right off the shelf. I might do a little bit of speckle just for a little bit of like stardust shine in silver. And I got a clear coat here, a glossy clear coat. So this is kind of a list that I put together. This list is going to ensure that I don't miss the order or any key steps. So the first key step that I'm going to be doing is removing the clear coat. And I'm going to be using a nice multi-purpose, super fine grain, 400 grit sandpaper. I just got done taping these up. Um, where I put tape to cover and protect is around the very bottom where they plug into charge and where the magnet is. And on all the parts that had a little black base to them, I highly recommend over taping rather than under taping. I don't want anyone out there to break these beautiful little pieces of wonderful technology. Painting, make sure to do multiple light layers with five to 10 minutes break in between. Remember that this isn't a project that you're gonna have done in one day. So don't stress yourself out if it's gonna take three or four even. Make sure you have really good adequate airflow. And if you're inhaling too much spray paint, go inhale some steam with some essential oils like mint inside of it and have like a cleansing juice just to really clear up your system. I mean, I think that turned out pretty well. It's like a little blue and fairly sparkly. So I'm gonna take off a couple of these taped spots and uh, get to work with like a paint marker. Finished now with all of the spray paint action that's going to be going on for this project. Wow, holy do these look good. The difference that the clear coat made, I would genuinely say that it is absolutely fundamental for any project like this. The finish that came off with a couple quick multi-layers light applications of clear coat. I used a glossy clear coat, just made a huge difference. So I'm going to let these sit for about 24 hours at the very least before taking them off from here. So this is how they turned out. I still have to take this tape off here, but I recommend putting it because I'd watched in other videos that, that spray paint was getting inside and I didn't want the charging area or like my serial number and whatnot to get covered with paint. And I'll take this tape off here as well. The tape did a really fantastic job protecting everything. I got to charge the earbuds and we'll see how the noise cancellation and transparency feature held up. All right, here we are two weeks later, actually. I'm just getting around to editing the video now. Thanks for watching this far into the video, by the way. Do I recommend painting AirPods Pro? Honestly, I think Apple's gonna be coming out with painted AirPods, just like with the AirPod Max colors. It's really the right move for them to make. I believe that they went with one solid color so that every time somebody out in the world sees somebody wearing a white pair of ear pods, they're thinking AirPods. So it's kind of like brand awareness or anything like that. But now that AirPods have been around for quite a while, it just, the smart move, people want them to be colorful, just like the AirPods Max. Do I recommend that you paint yours? There's a couple of things that you should know first. For some reason, the silicone tips just aren't staying 100% solid on the AirPods as much as they were. And to be perfectly frank, Apple designed the AirPods so beautifully, so beautifully. They are really nice. I like that they're unique. There isn't another pair of AirPods Pro out there that are painted Tesla blue. <laughs> 
<laughs> but the paint, even though it's like really thin or whatever, it's a little tricky getting them in and out of the case. So that's just a couple of things for you to think about before you move along with your project. Anyways, thanks for taking the time to watch my videos. I know recently that I've only been posting for the last few weeks plant medicine episodes because those videos are so easy for me to make. Plus, I really enjoy making them as well. If this is your first time watching one of my videos, comment down below what you think. Leave a like if you thought that it was informative, helpful, or you just enjoyed watching in any way, shape, or form. And uh, remember to subscribe. Till next time, peace out.